¡Quítate, estúpido! ¡Le voy a dar un balazo! ¡Quítate! ¡Quítate, pendejo! ¡Quítate! ¡Una, dos, tres! ¡Que viva Reyes! ¡Muévete! ¡No, no, para atrás! ¡Para atrás! ¡Usted para atrás! ¡Para atrás! ¡Para atrás! ¡Rebeldes! ¡Escuchen cómo explotan los tiros! ¡Otra vez! ¡Welcome to Mexico! My brothers and I are just discussing the future of our country. Okay, let this man go. And who are you, gringo? I'm no one. But unless you want this town to tear you and your boys to shreds, I suggest you let him go. Then you think you could tell me what to do, friend? Oh, you should listen to him, friend. Look at that. You want to risk it? <laughs> the American is a drunk. If I were you, I would, I would pull that trigger. <laughs> Put the gun down, American. Yeah, yeah, matalo. Dejen mi hombre. Mierda! Huh? Dios, Dios mío. Santa Maria! So you want to settle this now, friend? Or you want me to shoot you in the head right now for that poor girl? Okay, but we fight like men, not like dogs. <sighs> Now the people are finally ready. Today we overthrow the Coronel. Senor, there are prisoners in jail who will fight on our side. Can you save them? Some of my best men are held in Allende's jail. They will be a great help to us. Just a little something for my troubles. Payaso! La tierra es de quien lo trabaja! Juntos podemos derrocar a Allende. Juntos podemos devolver el poder al pueblo. Por favor, no hacemos nada. Cierra la pinche boca. Listo. ¡Muere, pelado! 
Hermanos, tomamos la mansión de Allende.
Shoot the barrels! ¡Gracias! ¡Echen la puerta abajo! There are more coming up the hill. ¡Preparados! ¡Defenden la puerta! ¡No dejen a nadie entrar!
Ouch! Go then. I'll cover you. They're getting away. We have to stop them. Yes, yes. I know I'm on. Vámonos! Darte prisa, cabrón! To their horses, compadre! You cannot let them get away! I'll hunt you to hell and back! Jane and Williamson, come on, John. Vámonos, date prisa, cabrón. Come on, John, let's get to the horses. Give up, Williamson. I already got a squad. I promise. You always was weak-minded. Oh, oh, all right, John. I, I, I'll, I'll come quietly. Allende is dead. Mexico is mine. My people are free, and it is all thanks to you, Joe. And to the people who laid down their lives. People like Luisa. Oh, yes. She, she was very brave, and she will be missed. Who was she again? Your peasant girl wife-to-be? 
Oh, yes, of course. She, she will have a day named after her. Laura's day. Louisa. What? Oh, yes, I, I knew Laura as well. Magnificent girl. Like riding a pompous bull it was, amigo. You never saw anything like it. Anyway, enough about sport. Let's get back to politics. I trust you will join us in riding on the Capitol. I'd love to, but with Williamson dead, my jailers need me back in Blackwater. Hey, que hacen? Levantense. Well, I must say, I'll miss you, John Marston. I doubt you'll even remember me, Abraham, but it's been an experience. Good luck with the revolution. If you win power, remember why you wanted it. Mm. Well, travel safely, amigo. Moon. room, gringo. Where to, señor? See you again sometime. to be 
of service to the oldest profession. Forgive me, lady. What have we got here? Buenos dias. Señor.
are you, Fred? See if your tastes be more refined than my other customers. Thank you very much. Y'all have a good day. What's going on? One oh one, one oh two, one oh three, one oh five, one oh, one oh. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. One oh seven, one oh nine. Edgar Ross. One thirteen, upstairs on the right. One fourteen. 115, 116, 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some... Important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> no one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squabble by another lowlife. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, oh, yes. 
another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded. <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. A long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> 344, 345, 348, 3, All right, Mr. Fordham, onward. serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Right, let's go, Mr. Marston. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, sir. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, get the hell out of here. Quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Seems real quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. That informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with lowlifes. There's someone up there. You go investigate. I'll keep watch here.
Over here! I found him! Good God, that's our informant! Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap! Shit, Marston! You'll have to carry this man! I don't think he can walk! Oh my God! Devil! We need to clear a path out of here! Stop this! There they are! We need to get him to safety. You ain't out, Unbelievable. You're idiots. The army is on its way. Stay with me. Come on, let's head for the pier. Push forward, you fool!
Agent Ross. God's name is going on. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go. There might be more of them. Trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the, the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Hold them, we'll fix that damn engine.
I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky. We should take the Indian to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of him. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day, G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal, mm -hmm. <sighs> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thought. Sir, all my professional instincts say this Marston isn't all they claim he is. That's one take on a matter for sure. Come here a minute, will you? Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is in my business the worst policy. I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me, and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. Thank <laughs> you. 